Hey fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and welcome to your tarot love messages. We're going to take a look and see whether or not your person will come back. So for those of you that are in a disconnect with your romantic energy, whether this is an ex, you know, an ex-husband, an ex-wife, an ex-partner, a romantic energy that you were deeply or even loosely involved with, whoever this per you know this person is, they're obviously special to you. It hasn't worked out for one reason or another, and that's okay. Sometimes we don't always get it right the first time. A lot of the times we don't, but that's the beauty of second chances because it's an opportunity to do things again and to do you know to make it work to do things better. So we'll see whether you know your relationship will have a second chance, or we'll see whether this person is going to come back into your life. And if so, what messages can the cards give to us? Like, can they be time frames or you know anything around them uh, reconnecting with you here? It is a general reading, so please just guys keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading, feel free to reach out. My email is listed below. Otherwise, guys, let's get into it. So once again, this reading is for all fire energies. <clears throat> Wow. Okay, a strong romantic energy here. A lot of you, I feel like, are feeling pretty positive or you're feeling pretty, like, either very keen or you're very enthusiastic about them coming back into your life here. Okay, so, I mean, I feel like you've got some really great cards. A very strong romantic key. Uh, sorry, very strong romantic energy here with the lovers card. This to me tells me either this relationship, there's a lot of strong feelings involved. The two of you might be in love with one another. The two of you might be in the process of falling in love with one another. This could also, if it's not love, then it definitely feels like it's an energy of lust or infatuation here. You know, intoxication here. So definitely strong romantic notion here. To me, the lovers card is also like, you know, it, it definitely heralds images of like star-crossed lovers. So even though the two of you didn't get an opportunity to, you know, like explore the connection or do things right the first time, I feel like there'll definitely be a second chance, an opportunity for them to come back into your life. And it's like fate destiny, the universe, cosmos, the divine will make sure of this. So you will have an opportunity to cross paths with this person again. I feel like this person will just naturally gravitate towards you back into your life, whether it's, whether it is through chance, through fate, you know, whether it's through happenstance, it will happen. To me, I definitely feel like there will be a reunion. There will be an opportunity for you to cross paths again. I feel like it's written in the stars. It's faded. It's destined. The Eight of Wands tells me that there's definitely going to be forward momentum with this person. Like this is movement. This is progression. This is acceleration here. The Pages tells me that you may be dealing with someone who is a little bit this energy is coming up younger, okay? And look, maybe you're the younger one. I don't know how this relates to you personally, but someone in the connection here is a little bit younger. So either by age or they're by emotional maturity. So someone here may not be ready for the things that the other person is ready for. If this is you, then I feel like a large portion of the reason why it didn't work out the first time around is you weren't ready for commitment. You weren't ready to settle down. Someone is coming up as a really restless energy, like they weren't ready to commit, okay? They weren't ready to settle down. They weren't ready for a relationship. This isn't to say that this person is not capable of a relationship or capable of commitment. They're not ready. Those are two very different things, so please don't misunderstand. If this is your person, same thing. Then it's just like a restless energy. It's like this person, there's a lot of excitement. I feel like this is someone who is... Like, they want to get out there. They want to form connections. They want to explore the world. Traveling is coming up around their energy. It's like this person is always doing something. Or they just always want to be on the move. And they feel as though, like, a relationship might hold them down. Or might hold them back. Okay? Might prevent them from getting out there, meeting new people. Or, you know, doing the things that they feel like they personally have to tick off on their to-do list. So this is why I feel like a large... This was a large 
factor in why your connection didn't necessarily work out with this person. This person feels as though there were a fluctuating presence in your life. They were a little bit inconsistent. It's like hot and cold aspect is coming up. Like one day you are a thing and then not. You know, hot and cold, on and off, let's do this, let's not. It's very fluctuating, inconsistent energy. I do see communication, like very fast communication from this energy here. If it's not from the energy, then I feel like... I see communication, okay? I see either... You're, I don't know if you're going to be firing off this com communication, so I don't know if you're going to initiate communication, but I see like messages back and forth. There's a flow to this. There's a rhythm here. So obviously you're not just sending off messages and not getting any messages in return. You know, if there's a rhythm, like you, you, you know, there's a flow here. It's happening. There's a, a return here. So I definitely feel like there's going to be a lot of communication, a lot of text messaging as well, a lot of texts back and forth here, a lot of digital communication. And... This card, it doesn't give me the impression that it's rushed, but it does happen quickly. So either this person reaches out, and then next thing you know, you guys are like constantly texting, constantly talking, flirting. There's a very strong flirtatious energy here. There's, to me, it feels like, notice how there's absolutely no distractions in the background. So to me, it feels like this person is going to communicate or reach out to you or come back into your life when they have more clarity around the energy. Because that's the whole, you know, that, that was the whole thing of why it didn't work out in the first place. They weren't ready or they just weren't sure what they wanted. It feels like when they come back into, the, into your life here, it feels like this energy is more assertive. They've got more clarity. They've got direction. They've got momentum. Let's do this kind of energy. So with the Eight of Wands, there's definitely this forward momentum. There's definitely forward progression here. There's movement. I feel like it's great here. I'm seeing that this person comes in with a message. So I feel like there's definitely, for a lot of you, it's like digital communication. But for some of you, it feels a little bit deeper than that. It feels like this person has something to say to you, has something to share with you. It's a message, it's a heartfelt message, or it's like a very flirty message. Whatever it is that they say, you're, it definitely gets the attention, your attention. Okay, and for a lot of you with the Three of Cups, I mean... Is this someone you were engaged with or you were supposed to get engaged with? Or either this is someone you're going to get engaged with. A potential marriage on the relationship, on the cards for you here. Okay, a strong reunion, a strong reconciliation. Because this is like a really good energy here. And I feel like the reason why this person comes back is that they know they've lost something good when they left you. They, When they walked away, they had regrets. And they know... For some of you, I feel like maybe you were even robbed of the chance or the opportunity to really get to know one another. And they know that. So they come back because they know they missed out on something. They missed out on something good here. So with the Three of Cups, I feel like, okay, the, to me the cards indicate that this is someone whom you potentially might get engaged to in the future. You might, this is someone whom you might even get married to. Okay, very strong romantic energy. For a lot of you, this is someone whom you're, you will, Either you have fallen in love with this person very quickly, things just happened very quickly between the two of you, and look, maybe some of you even rushed things, rushed through the connection the first time around. So the second time, if you did do that, the second time when this person does come back, don't make the same mistake twice, okay? Do not make the same mistake twice, because you know how that's going to end. Um, so for a lot of you, yes, I do feel like this person is coming back into your life. For some of you, I feel like you will be reconnecting with this person I'm seeing, okay, if it's not your wedding or you're not your engagement, that I'm seeing that there's some sort of celebration, so some sort of upcoming celebration where this person is going to be in attendance. And maybe this is the where you guys are sort of, where everything starts, okay? You've got a lot of fire energy, which tells me that there's things are going to start, like, I'm seeing things are really lit up between the two of you. This person comes back and it's almost like, there was always a fire that you had between the two of you, but it feels like that fire, it kind of dimmed out a little. So when you guys reconnect, that fire that you built reignites. Ten of Wands here, this is your energy. Make sure you're not the one that's doing things, because for a lot of you, maybe the first time around is because you also, the first time around, why it didn't work. Some of you, and maybe you didn't even realize this, but some of you might have overcommitted or overextended yourself in the relationship. Don't do that. Don't overinvest Okay, make sure there's a healthy balance or healthy equilibrium. So, 
pay attention to the balance. Okay, pay attention to the equilibrium and the connection. So make sure you're giving as much as you're getting. Okay, you need that healthy balance of give and take. Make sure you're not the only one who's carrying the weight of the relationship because you will crumble from all of that weight here. So as I've mentioned earlier within the reading, I feel like the two of you are destined to reconnect. I feel like you're destined to cross paths with this person. There's definitely a few things that didn't necessarily go right the first time around. But you know what? Don't be disheartened because I feel like sometimes the best things in life like the best adventures begin off with on the wrong foot or the wrong turn so okay it didn't work out the first time don't you know don't be so disheartened don't be so discouraged about that because i feel like this is the beauty of a second chance you know what didn't work and you can use that as a learning tool you can use that to give you you know a bit of like a step up a leg up here so for a lot of you, definitely, you know, there's a few things that you could have learned. I feel like someone is a little bit more mature or they're more ready this time around. There is a strong notion of love or romance or even like infatuation. And, you know, this is like, to me, it feels like the angels or destiny here is trying to bring the two of you back together. And it will bring the two of you back together. But sometimes an opportunity that presents itself to us isn't always an opportunity that we take advantage of. So although there will be an opportunity to cross paths together, there will be an opportunity to reconnect. What will you make of this opportunity? That's the question that I feel like I'm going to leave you with. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Please feel free to reach out if you're after personal reading with you, with me, sorry. Um, if you want me to follow on or if you just want a general one, um, thank you again for watching and listening. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Bye.